Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this, the new installment of Dads on Wrestling. I am the Renegade of Wrestling, J.J. Williams. I am Jeff Beach. The first time we've appeared together clean-shaven. This, this is very good. It feels good with Stanley Cup. Now Stanley that the Cup playoff the beards are gone. Uh-oh. We have to get the prop once again, huh? All right, we, we told people that the hockey stuff was over, and we're still bringing the cup in. Who told them that? I told them Anywho, we are here today at Long Beach Clothing Company, 4218 Atlantic Avenue. As always. To bring you. our No Way Out predictions. Yes. Jeff, this card looks ridiculous again. <laughs> ridiculous good or ridiculous bad? Because when I was sending the card to Double A, because, you know, Double B and Sandy coming this Saturday, him and Jade doing predictions yes, yes. live from here. Yes. When I sent the card to Double A, it actually didn't look that bad to me. I mean, it could have been built a little bit better, maybe, but it didn't look like it was a horrible card. Not horrible, but, you know, again, there's only five scheduled matches plus the pre-show. Okay. Like they, they're going to throw in a Ryback match. Of course. They already have a Brodus Clay match in the pre-show. Yeah. How are they going to fill all that time? They'll Seriously. figure it out. I mean, at the end of the day, it's no way out. It's a throwaway paper. I guess At the so. end of the day, so. I guess so. You know. Oh. Go ahead. Let's start the pre-show match. Brodus Clay versus David, David Ungatunga, Ungatunga, as the boy would say. Yes. That's right. Hashtag Dylan approved. That's right. Um, I gotta go with Brodus keeping his winning streak intact. Unfortunately, yeah. it's sad that, because you know. I love Otunga. Yes, as do I. I actually think he he has some serious potential if he can just break away from Big Johnny. Definitely. And we apologize for the shakiness there. The, the stand was bumped, but, you know, things like that happen here. Yeah, that is what it is. We are at the auto retail store. Uh, yeah, you know, if you actually shop here, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. it actually happen. So, all right. So, but yeah, I, I'd like to see Otunga get his time to shine, but he needs to break away from Johnny first. Yep. Then we have the Divas Championship on the line as the Glam is on herself at Phoenix, attempts to get her belt back, challenging Layla, and, uh... I, I have to believe that they're not going to let Layla's reign in just yet. Yeah, no. Just no, yet. No. Got to go with Layla on that one. Yeah. Got to go with Layla on that one. I, I, I hate to pick against my girl, but I agree with you. I think Layla is going to find some way to retain, even if it ends up being that Beth gets EQ. Yeah, She'll yeah. She'll still end up retaining yeah, her title. Definitely. Definitely. Then we have the Intercontinental. Every match scheduled except for the main, which, you know, main event, of course, is not. But every match scheduled is either a title match or a huge, huge title, a huge uh, main event style match, cage match. So, you know, yeah. you got the IC Championship on the line as Christian defends against Cody Rhodes again. You know, the the, the Intercontinental Championship has been bouncing back and forth here in the last couple of months, but uh, and, and the IC Champion was on a TNA paper. I, I was just going to so. say this is the first time I think in history that. Somebody has been on pay-per-view two weeks in a row. Yeah, as far as... Ever since the weekly pay-per-views that TNA used to do. Very true. You know. So you got to go with the man with the momentum, Captain Charisma himself. And right Captain here. He's looking for his peeps. That's right. Yes. Even Long Beach Clothing Company knows about it. That's right. Looking for the peeps. Christian. Yes, yes, yes. Um, again, we're picking all baby faces here. I'm, I'm kind of worried about that. Me too. Happen, but, you know. go, go ahead. What's next? Uh, we got Punk, Brian, and uh, Kane for the WWE Championship. Wait a minute. That's before. Yeah. Okay. I guess. That's how. That's how it looks. Let's, let's flip flop those. Okay. 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 Let's okay, flip flop okay. those. All right. We got Sheamus and Dolph Ziggler for the World Heavyweight Championship. That one, I think, we're gonna have a new champion. I agree. I, I don't. So. I don't think there was a whole lot of point in putting Dolph in the match if, it, yeah. if they weren't gonna give Dolph his time to shine. Let's hope. You know, Let's Dolph. Hope. Dolph needs to win the title and break off with it. Very much so. As much as I love Vicky, I, I, I do too. You know. He needs to kick her to the curb, like so many others before him have. Oh, just it, it's true. It's true. All right, we got CM Punk, Kane, now we'll get to and that. Daniel Bryan for the World Heavyweight uh, WWE Championship. The summer of Punk shall continue. I do believe. I think. I think. I want Bryan to win so bad. Don't get me wrong. That's our boy and everything. But I firmly believe that CM Punk will continue into SummerSlam as the WWE Champion. That is an interesting theory. You know, as much as I love Punk and I'd like to see him retain, I, I have a feeling, you know, here we are close to the one year anniversary of the pipe bomb that started it all, so a to speak. As mentioned on Raw. Yes. I have a feeling that Punk is going to come up short. Do you think so? I do. I think they have spent way too much time over the past couple weeks 
hyping how Kane has gone through a 14 year drought without the WWE title True. to let Punk escape unscathed. So you think he's going to Kane? I'm going out on a limb and I'm picking the Dark Horse Kane. I'm not saying that he's going to pin Punk. Look for him to possibly pin Bryant. And then a punk pipe bomb about how he was going to Ah, very good. Could happen. Could happen. So we actually disagreed on one. We did. Here. There we go. Finally disagreed. There we go. And then we have the cage match of cage matches. John Cena listed here with Vince McMahon. Although Vince is going to be a ringside. Will you turn around and knock it off? Knock it off. This isn't, this isn't your apartment with John Cena and Batista. Turn around. Right. I'm going to walk off. Right now. Turn around. We're going to cancel the show right now. Come on. Turn around. Come on. It's not going to be that bad. You know Big Show's going to win. You know they're not going to fire J- Big Johnny yet. You know it's not going to happen. I'm just tired of these main events that ain't got shit to do with the title. I know. I know. I agree. Nobody and wants to see John anymore. I agree. John doesn't want to see John anymore. That's very true. Take him out of the freaking main event. That's very true. You know, actually make the championship, oh, I don't know, prestigious and mean something. Maybe, you know. Maybe. But we all know that there's going to be some sort of shenanigans where Big Show will end up winning the cage. They're not going to get rid of Big John. Not going to happen. They can't. He's their hottest guy. Really? He is. I hate, really? I hate to say that, but really? he is. No. He's their biggest heel. I disagree. Who is that? Who is that? Brian. Brian, especially with what went down between him and Punk on Raw. Yeah. Well, I still say he's the he's the he's the top heel. Big Johnny. I hate it. I hate it that the Laurinaitis ass is the top heel, but he is. Okay, you're you're saying Laurinaitis. Yeah. But who are you I thought you were saying the Big Show. Oh no. Oh no. He's got no heel momentum whatsoever. I'm talking Which about Which is why Lord I think Nidus. he's the flounder. No. He's got no momentum. Kill it. Yeah. Pull the trigger on Old Yeller, just like they did at WrestleMania 24 with Ric Flair. Yeah. Take him out behind the steel, to the steel cage, cock it back. Well, but but if Big Show loses, Lauren Ice is gone. That's a stipulation. Can't have him lose. Yes, we can. I'd like to. Trust me, I want Lauren Ice gone as much as the rest of y'all. But I I don't see it happening just yet. We've also got the impending return of Triple H to. Discuss. Yes, because he will be there to discuss the lawsuits with Brock and Mr. Heyman. Yes. And uh, you know there's going to be something going on there. Yes. You know that we'll potentially see, we'll probably, most likely see Paul Heyman. You can potentially see Brock Lesnar. Well, that's a good thing. I want to see the two of them side by side again. Yes. That, that but, was definitely well, good times. Well, Brock, you know, according to the people that I talked to, was suspended for, did I say 90 or 60? I, I think it was 60. No, it was 90. And that was last month, so he, he won't be back. He won't be back. Or so we think. Or so we think, I do believe. Sources can be wrong. It is true. Very true. Quite a cut for a reason. I don't know why. There is a reason behind it, I just don't know the reason. God <laughs> damn it, Jeff. You know what? I've been waiting 29 years for this. My family's been waiting 45, you know? And, and, we're, and we're, we're, we're still talking about wrestling. You're wearing your Stanley Cup shirt. I got my Stanley Cup hat. We're Have we pointed out that we're at Long Beach Clothing Company, That's 4218 right. Atlantic Avenue? The hat, there you go. Oh, very cool. A little Friday. bit of Vanna White action going on here. First you know, Friday, kids. Nowhere near as hot. If, 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 you stay, if you stay in Long Beach or near Long Beach, first Friday of the month, every month, come down here. They got some cool stuff to hand out. We got the, Not the, every month. They don't always give away free stuff. Man. Almost always. No. No? No. They haven't given away anything free since the green shirts last year. Is that right? Yeah. Oh. Well, some places so, that makes me know so, what to do. So, Jeff is speaking out of his buttocks. I am. Okay, well, okay, well, first Friday here at Bixby Knowles. You still want to be here. It's the place to be. It's the place to be because they have, they have free swag at some places. They have cool hangouts. They've got cool music playing. Yes. They have that they do have. That they do have. So, you come down here first Friday if you stay near or in Long Beach. It's a place to be. You might just bump into us. More than likely. That's going to wrap it up for this edition of Dads on Wrestling. No Way Out Predictions. Once again, I am the renegade of wrestling, J.J. Williams. And I am Jeff Meacham. Live via Memrex here at Long Beach Clothing Company. See you next time.